Hello everyone, thank you for watching this video in which I will answer another question that I've got on the channel and uh, the question is well I get an unsupported media type for um, a rest endpoint that I have developed with Spring Boot uh, and which could be the cause and of course there could be multiple situations that could cause a 405 I think it is unsupported media type but um, I remember I have seen quite uh, a lot of times uh, in my classes um, the situation in which um, actually the endpoint is not called correctly uh, from Postman and uh, I hope this is your case as well if this is not the case then you uh, could simply uh, put um, your example on a github and share the link with me and I will take a look on your code but I really hope that this um, video will uh, solve your uh, your problem and let's see exactly what happens for this I will uh, create uh, a new project here and I will uh, just create myself a very very small endpoint and I will try to reproduce the unsupported media type the way I know it's the most easier to reproduce it and then I will show you how to solve it actually what you are skipping and if this is the case then I hope this this really solves your problem so let's create a very small project using Spring Boot I will use version 12 but that's really not important now and just uh, let's uh, um, choose a group ID and an artifact would be unsupported media type unsupported media type E1 and again version 12 that I'm always using the latest but again that's not important um, really much for our example and uh, the only dependency that I need is Spring Web Starter in the question it was specified something about JPA and Hibernate but the unsupported media type is purely related to the REST endpoint so I'm pretty sure it doesn't have anything related to Hibernate or JPA I will create some other materials on Hibernate and JPA in more details uh, specific core streams on this channel uh, very very soon but in this case any problem that could be is related to the web dependency so that's why I'm pretty sure that the web dependency is the only thing that I will need to add to reproduce the problem and uh, let's just finish this project and the only thing that I will create is a very small endpoint that receives a request body because that's where the unsupported media type can uh, be encountered at the request body it's one of the one of the cases so I, I will just go here and in my project I will create just here right right near the main uh, uh, class I will create a cat class that would be my request body and to make it very very simple I will just uh, have a, an attribute here so let's say private string name with its getters and setters and directly I will not control anymore I will make it very very small the example I will just make this class to be web controller as well so I will just go here and add public void let's say do something with cat that's my uh, that's my endpoint and it's a post endpoint because I will need um, uh, request uh, body so I can't I can't uh, use the get method I have to use post or put or, so or something and let's say it's accessible at the slash cat path and then I, I have the request body which will be cat object and it doesn't really matter what I do here so I do something here okay but but that doesn't matter important is the conversion that is done from what is received in the uh, request body to the actual object and this is where the unsupported media type can be encountered and then I, I will just run this application as it is so I only have this endpoint and theoretically I should be able to access now this endpoint on the default port that is 8080 from my postman so I should simply say something like HTTP localhost 8080 cat and let's see if the application has actually started it didn't start yet we, we should wait a little bit more for it to start 
okay couple more seconds and now it should be already running on port 8080 my server and that's uh, why i should now be able to actually oh and of course i need a post here and the body and here here is actually where the problem is so if you only select a row here and you add the body but you don't select nothing here you simply leave it as a plain text then in the headers here you will have nothing so even if you will actually just write a very good normal json object like it like this is so when you press send here then you will actually get an unsupported media type and this is a very common error in only testing the endpoint it, it's nothing related with, with your code your code is probably correct you are just calling it incorrectly because in the headers you don't have the the type and by default the spring boot implementation will expect to have a json that is being converted to your object so what what you shall do is either select from here json so that that uh, action will actually add a header that is the content type header with the value application json to the request or you can of course do this manually by simply adding the header content type and the value application json in both cases this should now when you press the send should solve the problem so you have a 200 okay and that is because now the conversion is done through from the json and actually your your endpoint really sees the uh, content type as a json and knows how to parse it and convert it to the, the instance so what what you should remember is that you have to add to the request the header and usually in my examples i do that simply by after selecting the row to be able to add the body here i also select the type here by default it will be plain text in um, uh, in postman so if you go to the headers now you see that there is no header so that's why when you when send the request you will get the unsupported media type now if this is not your problem there is a possibility that you have another problem and i don't know i don't have enough enough information to to just answer that at the moment only send me a link with your github and your project and i will try to run it myself and i will try to debug it and i will see what the problem really is but i, I really hope this is the problem because this is what it actually happens in most of the times when you you run uh, very small applications you forget simply to to specify uh, the content type and it is just very very normal uh, and it will simply get to this 415 sorry it was 415 the code i see it now okay uh thank you very much for the question and i wait for your um, uh, uh I, I wait to see if this is really your case and if you if you have other questions please send them to me you can leave them on the channel as you as you did or you can simply find me on linkedin and twitter as well and i will try to answer to your question thank you very much